Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the concatenate function in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and open up this folder on my desktop. And inside of this folder, I've got this spreadsheet with some pre-made data. So we've got name here, first name, we've got last name. We've got the first part of a postcode, the second part of a po postcode. We've got a door number and we've got a street. So let's say we want the full name. So we've got James Smith. We want to take that and put it into a single cell. Combine those two values, James and Smith, into a single value here. We can type in equals and we can type in C-O-N for concatenate. And then we can select the concatenate function. You have to type the whole thing in. Just type in C-O-N, then find that function and double click on it. And it's asking me for a text value first. So I'm going to select James. And then it's asking me to put in a comma and then give a second value. I'm going to put in Smith, right? And then I'm going to close the bracket and hit the enter key. We're going to have a small problem here. You can see that James Smith is written there, but there's no space between the names, right? It's just like one word. And we don't want that. We want to have a space in between. So let's show you how to do that. Let's delete this. And we type in equals again and C-O-N for concatenate. Let's select that function and we'll click on James. And then we'll put in a comma. Then we're going to do an open speech mark, which is shift and number two key on my keyboard. I'm going to hit the space bar and then put a shift uh, and number two to close the speech mark. Then I'll put in a comma and then I'll select Smith and then I'll close the bracket. So all we're doing is saying take cell A2, add a blank space and then add cell B2, these two here, and put a blank space between them. So when we hit the enter, we now have James Smith with a blank space. We can then uh, left click in the bottom right hand corner of this cell and drag this function down and it will create the other names for us. We've got Jane Doe here, we've got Priya Patel here, and we've got Tom Allen here. So we can apply that same logic to join postcodes together as well. Because sometimes you may have postcodes separated in your spreadsheet and you want to have them as a single postcode. So we can just type in equals C-O-N for concatenate, select it, and we just use the same logic. So we say G1, or the, sorry, cell this cell here, C2, and we do comma, open speech mark, space, close speech mark, and then we'll do comma and we'll select this value here, the end postcode, and then we'll just do close bracket and hit enter. Now we've got IG1, 2, N4, and we can drag that function down to calculate the rest of the postcodes. Now we've got address here and we've got the door number and the street. So we can use that same logic again. We can type in equals concatenate and we'll double click. And then we can click on the door number and then we can do comma, open speech mark, space bar, close speech mark, comma, and then select the street and then close down the function and hit enter. Now we've got number four, Gold Street, right? And we can drag those down here as well. But what if we wanted the full address? What if we want to have the street and the postcode all on the same line, right? So there's a couple of ways we could do that. We could concatenate everything together. So let's show you how that works as well. So we could do equals uh, concatenate and the first thing we would want is the door number, right? Door number, and then we do comma, and then we do speech mark, a space, speech mark, and then we do comma, then we want the street, and then we want another comma, and then we want a speech mark, space, speech mark, and then another comma, and then we want the first part of the postcode, so let's set the postcode, and then we want comma, speech mark, space, speech mark, and then comma again. And then we want the second part of the postcode. And then we want to close this function and hit enter. Now we have four Gold Street IG1 to NR, the whole address on a single line, drag down the function. And that's how you can get the whole address on, the, on a single line. There is actually a quicker way to do this. So what we could have done, let's just move across here and let's just call this full address C-O-N for concatenate, right? So we've concatenated it. And let's just do full address. Uh, let's just say custom. We're going to write our own little custom formula, right? So we can do equals. And then we can click on the street here. And then we can do ampersand. So shift and number seven key on my keyboard. And then we're going to do open speech mark, space, close speech mark, ampersand and then we'll select the postcode and then we just hit enter 
and we'll get the same logic as well but you can see it's a much shorter function but we have to custom write that function in essence all we've done is saying take uh, the street value use the ampersand because this is for joining text-based values yeah text values not numeric so we're not adding the value we're not adding values together we're joining uh, text-based values together so we use the ampersand add the space in there another ampersand and add the text at the end of it all right so nice and easy we hit enter and then we can drag down and then we've got that function it's a custom one really we've created ourselves to join really this value to this value right really we take the street address first and then put the postcode at the end of it so you can use the concatenate but if we look at that function we can see it had quite a lot of data in there to create it but then we can just as long as we've got these values calculated we can write our own little custom formula and it's much shorter and much easier to, to, to manipulate. It's entirely your choice. They both function in the same way. They both function in the same way, right? If that makes sense. So let's just have a look at one more example. If we do here, we can write a custom one here. We can do something like equals James and then we do ampersand and we do open speech mark space speech mark ampersand Smith and then hit enter and then we get James Smith written there with the space in between. This is the same as doing the function here, the concatenate function, yeah? So they're both working the same way. Just one way is a formula that we can, a predefined formula, the concatenate formula. And the other way that we're doing it down here is to custom write that formula ourselves. So it's always nice to understand how that custom formula works, how you can write your own version of that function. Uh, I think that's a better way to understand how to um, join these values together inside Excel. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. Let's close this down and we'll close down this folder. That's how you go about using the concatenate function in Microsoft Excel. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 600 video tutorials. That's the end of this video tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.